the more walls you have AFib cells on, the more progressed it is, the harder it is to get rid of all of it, and the more skilled a physician operator you need to go to to get to a better result at the later stages. An SVT rhythm, regardless of which of the ones you have, they are small little circuits that have very high success rates. And these days, it's just not very difficult to get rid of an SVT. The cure rates for somebody with an SVT who goes to an experienced electrophysiologist should be in the 95 to 97% cure rate with one procedure in maybe a two hour procedure. So this is another way that SVTs differ from atrial fibrillation. So think about it this way. Atrial fibrillation causes rapid heart rates, but it's not directly life-threatening, but it can also cause clots and strokes, and it progresses over time and can eventually become permanent or very progressed where it's very difficult to get rid of it with an ablation or with medications, whereas an SVT does not cause clots and strokes, is not a directly life-threatening rhythm that's going to directly kill you, is mainly treated for symptoms, can actually be stopped with certain maneuvers, oftentimes, and the ablation for it these days has such a high success rate of 95 to 97% with one procedure and a less than half a percent incidence of complications that oftentimes it's the preferred treatment unless somebody really doesn't want to have a procedure done.